to be seeing a really interesting match. Because the thing about Fox is he also has a decent combo game. And yeah. he can really... Uh, one thing that Fox does that not a lot of characters have the opportunity to do is he can put characters in traps. He has mm -hmm. a lot of frame traps and he has a lot of setups with his forward air knocking you down where he just sets you up in a position where you're either helpless or, or you, you dodge one move in order to get hit by another one. Yep. Pick your poison. So Yeah, would you rather take would you rather take poison A or poison B? Mm -hmm. That's that's really the big difference. Whereas Mario's just getting his nearly guaranteed combos or his uh, Yeah, it's really gonna, gonna hit combos. It's going to be it's gonna be a battle of, of stage dominance in this mm -hmm. one. Oh, most certainly. If Fox can keep uh, Mario at the ledge, that's what he wants. Yeah, but if Fox allows Mario to get in and get those grabs, then this is going to be it's going to be a little bit, quite a bit more difficult for Fox to find his way out. Anyway, we're going to FD. No, oh, this that's is hand warmers actually. All right, hand warmers. I oh, got to make sure your buttons are still the same. Well, yeah, perhaps I should remove... Do hand warmers, make sure that your hands are actually the same. You don't want any, like... <laughs> you don't want to make sure you got, like, a, a second pinky or something. Make sure you don't grab your neighbor's hands and play with those, because <laughs> that, can, that can change the outcome of the match. <laughs> so, now... Well, uh, well, if there's a, well, if there is a controller setup that can somehow remove down B from, from it, then I would be A-OK. -okay. <laughs> Isn't that right, neighbor? I think that that might benefit... Some people. <laughs> Some people. All right. So I really think that <laughs> the big deciding factor here is how aggressive the fox decides to be. Because if fox yes. hangs back too much, which it's not little. really in fox's nature, but if he if he gives Mario too much space, it's going to be gonna, well, yeah, it's going to get tough. Grabbed. So it looks like we're going to battlefield. Battlefield. Oh, here we go. Three. Bust a McThunder stick going as Fox and one Smash Kirby Kid playing as Mario. Correct. And All right, and it looks like he's going with... Mario's just able to move around these platforms so oh. well. I honestly, when we went to the stage, I was curious. I thought the FD might have been a more even stage between the two. Mm -hmm. But um, I suppose Fox also appreciates the platforms. But Fox likes room to move sometimes. Yeah, like but that's something that, well, when you think about it, the platforms give him just about as much room to move. That's and true. Allows and him it to looks like he is being very aggressive. He's using yes. the platforms to his advantage this is to keep it's like being on the same plane as Mario. If yeah. You, if you, one person's on the ground and one person's on a platform, Ooh. neither player's getting grabbed. Uh-oh, we've got some chanting going on. Let's see if Kirby Kid can make a little bit of a comeback here. All right. So it looks oh, to goes me like... For He's got that fast fireball to make sure that uh, he can... Oh, my oh. God. Runs right into it. Very good forward that smash. That is a very, very good forward smash. He, he wants that fireball specifically so that Fox can't rush him too fast. Oh, wow. We've got... Is scalding. that the... Yeah, the scalding. <laughs> he goes for the reflector. All right. He's run into a few forward smashes now. Let's see what he can do. Ooh. Mario's cover of the platforms is just... So oh! Good. Ooh, very nice falling through the platform. He would have... He most certainly would have been long gone had he not been able to fall through that platform. This just shows a lot of knowledge by Kirby Kid of how to navigate this stage properly. Yeah, and he's using he's using the, the Scalding Flood very effectively to push his opponent back and keep him from from attacking. And, ooh, wow. And Kirby and Mario just goes positively skyrocketing after that up smash. That was a very good power shield by Busta McThunderstick in uh, assuring that he would get that Oh, that kill. was... And he got the wrong direction on that one, but let's see if he can get something back. All right. Mario Ooh, with the shield the, pressure, yeah, but Fox gets out of the situation. Oh, wow. Ooh. Very nice stuff from Kirby Kid. Let's see what he can come up with next. All right. Looks like Fox is trying to take back the game right now. And yeah, he's being a, quite, a bit more, quite a bit more dominant in, in stage usage. Mm -hmm. But he's Ooh. trying to keep Mario <laughs> on tried the to go for the Tried to go for the, for the divisive. Back right. air, but anyway, here we go. Next attack, next string coming up. It, okay, this should be a big punish. All right, <laughs> yes. we saw him. Ooh, he and he get let him get away. So, when you see somebody charging a smash attack like that, you need to be able to punish them for it. Yeah, don't let them get away with it. Yeah, like that's that's definitely the tough thing. Oh, just barely out of range. 
That was a very good side B to just get Mario out of that 50-50 situation. Yeah. Uh-oh. This could be... Ooh, Ooh tried to go Mario for the double jab. fell out of the jab combo with Fox. I'm not sure... I know that that combo doesn't... Oh, oh, wow. Very good up smash to catch his landing. But I'm not sure if, uh, if Fox's jab... And one two works on Mario. I know there are certain characters that it doesn't work on, and certain yeah. characters that it works almost infinitely. It looks like, and Busta McThunderstick brings it back. All right. That was really impressive by him to just maintain his composure throughout that match. To yeah, he played. He played aggressively, back. but he paid, but he played patiently. Mm -hmm. Took his chance as well. There were. There were a few times where I felt he could have done a little bit more on it, but, but on his second stock, he definitely was oh. waiting to throw out the kill move until he knew it would hit, so he yeah, wasn't waited, punished for it. Yeah, definitely waited for the guaranteed kill move, and that was very, very strong play. And it looks like we're going to be headed back to Battlefield. Busta McThunderstick, like, uh, one win away from staying in this competition right here. Now, this is loser's bracket, so whoever loses is out. Yep. Now, Kirby Kid thinks probably that he could have done a lot better, especially on this stage where I feel like Mario should have the advantage. Yeah, just because of how many platforms there is. But like I was saying, with with Fox's mobility, he doesn't really have too much problems with the with the platforms either. In fact, I'd say that his combos benefit quite a bit more from the platforms. Oh, of course, his up air strings definitely get a lot easier when you can land on a platform. Like and why? Why do you think? Why do you think? Why do you think you usually see like? Like them on platform heavy stages, like Battlefield or, or Pokemon Stadium 2, like in, in Melee. Mm -hmm. Just because of the platforms give him so much more positional advantage. That's true, but it's also matchup based. I don't think that there's a single character in this game that hates Battlefield, uh, but who can abuse it more? And Captain in Falcon? A, in a Mario versus Fox situation. <laughs> oh, he manages to, to get out of the. Ooh. Gets out of the double jab block. Showing that he's in Kirby Kid's head. He showing exactly. that he. Reminding everyone that for Fox, Down B exists. Mm -hmm. Oh. Ooh, very nice stuff from Kirby Kid. Good up tilt. That's, oh, wow. That's how you can tell the difference between a day one Mario and, an and, a, and a day Mario And a day 50 Mario. Is uh, he'll actually use his up tilt just to start things instead of immediately after down throw. Yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. Good shield. Both are playing very... Trying to go for the Hail Mary up smash. And could this be it? No, it's not going to be, but... He's stalling it out a little bit just so he can go straight for the ledge. Yeah, that was very smart from... Ooh. Oh, this is going to be the ledge denial that Kirby Kid was looking for, but Fox with oh, that side Oh, beat. that's going to be this it. This will be it with a back air for sure. Very nice grab. Grab so facing away from it. This is where it's rough because Fox has to get this kill really fast before Kirby Kid can get all of that extra percent. Yeah, like look, he's already at, he's already at 30 percent as we speak, and when Fox is at zero percent, oh, and there we go. Ooh, good job, just snuffing him out with that. Good up job from Busta. All right, because if he had not uh, got that kill really fast at zero percent, Mario can just rack up damage. Yeah. All right, here we go. That's, I'm just amazed by the use of the flood. I hardly ever see it being used. Well, by yeah, because Mario's because game. it's basically use. It's basically useless in most conventional use. But the scald, but because of the fact that scalding flood now deals damage, it makes it a lot more effective as a as a spacing. Tool. Yeah, Kirby could definitely show it. He has All a few right. tricks up his sleeve. Ooh, managed to wait. What do we see here? The back throw. He just wants that positional advantage. I, I oh, very nice idea. intercept there. He threw out the long-lasting hitbox so that Fox had no choice but to run straight into it after initiating the side beat. Oh, what do we see here? Could Mario we see another comeback? So. Oh. You know, another reason that I think that this stage might favor Mario is because even though Fox does have combos, Mario does have oh. that frame three nair. Could this be Ooh, it? And another back throw, oh, not quite the pixels. kill. Pixels. Pixels away from that blast zone. Ooh, Ooh just barely, barely makes it back. It right back. That wall. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Yeah, I can say it's a ledge trump. No. Oh my god. That was just missed. Stop this. By, and by that is. Ooh, Kirby Kid is popping <laughs> off. That is a pop off.
That was beautiful. <laughs> Kirby Kid is so excited. So he had to grab the ledge a second time, and Busta knew that, and he went for the down smash, but he just mistimed it. Yeah. So he missed Mario re-grabbing the ledge. Mario should have been dead there, and that would have been 2-0 and done. But because he flubbed it, Mario got the chance to get back on stage it and grab the back throw. That that brought it to a game three situation. Yeah. That's why you cannot miss those ledge situations. They're so important in this game. Mm-hmm. But man, <laughs> Kirby Kid, <laughs> Kirby was Kid with the off. pop off. That's the shockwave pop off right there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, in a game three. Where do you? What stage do you think they're going to go to now? Gamer? No. <laughs> because this I I want that stage, please. But no, I know Fox's, it's not going to happen. This is Fox's uh, kind of pick now. For Fox, mm, I'm going to have to look at the stage list real quick. I think that he'll want Howard? a little bit more room. Yeah, like uh, Halberd would ha be a good pick. I don't think that Mario will let him go there. I think yeah. that that's an automatic ban. Yeah, just because like it has a little bit more room to navigate as long as, as horizontal space. Mm -hmm. And because of the reduced ceiling, right. uh, Fox's thinking, up air benefits. I was thinking of the stages that might not get banned, this one will benefit Fox the most because yeah. it still has a low ceiling and it gives him a lot of room to run. Oh, yes. This gives him a, a, a plethora of... Space. And it still has the platforms there, similar to like a giant version of Battlefield. Yeah. But they're not always there. So yeah, they won't always be able to help out. Two setups, Mario. But anyway, uh. Ooh. It really looks like that jab one two doesn't work as well on Mario because Mario's gotten out of it multiple times now. Mm -hmm. We'll see how. We'll oh. see if Buster's noticing this and how he will adjust. Right. Dashed. Oh my Ooh. goodness. He read the dash and got the really early kill with a forward smash. And like like that, that Hail Mary forward smash just... Uh, I mean, that not was just Hail Mary. He, he, read the, he read the approach. Yeah. Like just... All right. Good back throw. Just to get some positional advantage here. Oh, gets another... Well, let's see. You... I think that he would have had to have hit on the on the palm to, to get kill at that point. Probably. Ooh, but Fox evening it up really quick. This is this not is not a crazy lead, especially yeah, this with all is, this room that Fox yeah, has. Yeah, with move this around. kind of room, this 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 comeback is very very doable with with Fox. But let's see what let's see what Busta McThunderstick can do. They're just jabbing in each other's faces, staying yeah. really close. And I think, honestly, that that might be playing to Mario's advantage. Because he yeah, has a lot of it. very quick moves, very uh, Oh, there we go. Forward moves. forward smash. Let's see. How do we go from here? Ooh, he went for he the tried ledge to go for the trump, the He tried to go for the ledge trump, Busta but... Busta was buffering a, a get-up option, so he did not get caught. Oh, well, escapes out, and... Like I was saying, that would normally, against uh, another character that maybe was a little bit bigger. Oh, here we go. Could have been a situation where Buster was going to get the up smash, but because he's so used to it, he didn't realize that all this Ooh, time Mario's been getting out. Just barely manages to, to make it back on the stage after that. It was a very delicate situation. For because both, because really one of, oh, oh, this is going to be it. Oh, he waited for it. That's the adaptation that's a, that I wanted to see. That he realized that, I think that he might have noticed that, that he, was he was doing out. double jab, double jab, and then mm -hmm. up B. I think that he was waiting for Marcus's up B, or I'm sorry, Kirby Kid's up B. They weren't, he wasn't punishing him on purpose, specifically so. He conditioned him to He conditioned to him, it. him to make the up B so that he was helpless and get hit by the up smash. Yeah, Beautiful that was play by both players. Yeah, Just and then, and then down it, to the wire matches. Yeah.